Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. Friend? I am not often called that. But I wish to know more about the Fallen Star. The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. I've spent most of my life traveling from place to place with Uncle Deckard, while he did his crazy research. It seems reasonable enough to me. He's convinced that the forces of Hell will invade our world and bring about the end times. All these years, he's still searching for a way to stop this apocalypse. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. He lost both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. I will find a way to lay him to rest. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. Leia, you should not dismiss the signs so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence of your own eyes? Horrors have visited Tristram before, and it endured. But what of the texts? The Zakarum tomes warn of a falling star. The Herodric scroll spoke of the dead rising and the Lord of Lies. The prophecy of the end days says that at the end of all things, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Yes, you've been telling me about the text since I was eight years old, Uncle. I just don't think we should read too much into them. What did you learn of Adria? She wasn't from Tristram originally. She came here during the Troubles. She was in search of something, but I'm not sure what. She reminds me of Uncle Deckard, obsessed with the war between angels and demons. I am the last of the Herodrim. I couldn't always claim this. In fact, if I had turned to the Herodric teachings sooner, Diablo could have been stopped before his reign of terror began. That seems unlikely. When the first signs appeared, I did nothing. I had shrugged the old tales off like they were so much fantasy. And Tristram, no, the world has paid dearly for my arrogance. I have tried to make up for my failings. Leah and I have spent her lifetime scouring the world, collecting pieces of the prophecy of the end days. If I can decipher it, we will have the key to defeating the Lords of Hell. You and Leah depend on each other. I do not know what my life would have been like had I not raised her. Oh, it must have been difficult for Leah, following an old man on a mad search for the secrets to defeating the Lords of the Burning Hells. <laughs> but though she has seen her share of mysterious things, she is still unsure of my quest. I, I can understand. She has never seen anything like Diablo and his brothers. The prophecy of the end days is contained within the Herodric tomes I inherited from my ancestor, Jared Cain. It is a warning to those who could interpret it regarding Hell's ultimate invasion of our world. Written by many different people throughout history, in many different lands. All known versions of the prophecy are incomplete. I have spent a good part of the past twenty years trying to complete it. I am certain it holds the answers to defeating the Lords of Hell. What happened to Tristram's king? Leoric resisted Diablo's attempts to possess him, but the effort left him weak and confused. 
When his son, Albrecht, was kidnapped to be a vessel for Diablo, it destroyed any sanity Leoric had left. And so he became the Skeleton King. He commanded an army of the dead deep within the cathedral, finally serving the Lord of Terror he had resisted while alive. Many adventurers tried and failed to slay the Skeleton King. It was left to Leoric's eldest son, Aiden, to finally kill the monster his father had become. Each of my items is very special to me, but I suppose I can sell you one or two things if I must. Leah spent all night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. What? She was out defending the gates this morning. What is driving that woman? Sheldo, how sweet of you to ask. My people, the Vecchen, are nomads. Always traveling, looking for the land we might settle. All of us have the sight, but few have it as strong as myself. You know, men have always pursued me for my visions. <laughs> well, for things other than my visions. But everyone wants to know what the future holds. My duty is my future. So serious. Just because you're fated to save the world doesn't mean you shouldn't have a good time. The world is constantly renewing itself, eternally playing out the same events over and over again. We can merely play our parts. What are you trying to say? I speak clearly. Do not blame me for the state of your mind.
did you hear? Old Rockwood has us down to half You are the blacksmith, aren't you? I have a request. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? Death is a path all must tread. Allow me to help. Thank you. Follow me. Without you, I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. There is a way you could repay me. I seek the crown of King Leoric. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. Apprentice has fallen. Another disruption in the balance.
Decay and rot!
creature will die.
King Leoric came to court, he brought many nobles with him, and nobles, oddly enough, want noble crypts. So I showed up with my shovel, thinking to make easy profit by digging a few holes. Ha! There's no stopping their demands around here. Now, I eat, sleep, and breathe death, it seems. This will be a challenge. Grave robbers have defiled my tomb. Now, my husband writhes in torment because I do not rest at his side. Return my bones so that we may rest in peace.
Not enough essence.
is not here. I'll look for it in another crypt.
psych. I need essence. Consumes you. I think the time is nearby. No. No, I will not allow you to bring that monster Leoric back to this world! Returning to town. I need to go back. You found the crown. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Ah, it needs repair. Should be no problem. It's good to work again. There. Knew as the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. I need something more than making spades to occupy my mind. I want my life to mean something. There is no higher calling than serving the balance. The priests of Rathma would welcome your aid. But I should tell you, 
During my travels, I found the body of your apprentice. It was a quick death. Fool boy. Hope for the worst and you will not be disappointed. Thank you for the news. <laughs>